We have an indefinite integral. This one is a little bit harder, so solution. Now, if it wasn't for this uh, pesky x that's up here, um, this would simply be a u substitution that would lead to an arc sign. Uh, but because we have the x, we have to rewrite this integral in a clever way. So let's start by rewriting it first. So we have x plus 5 divided by the square root of 16 minus x minus 4 quantity squared. And the trick is to write this as follows. So this is x minus 4 over the square root of 16 minus x minus 4 squared dx. You might say, well, you can't do that. That's wrong. Well, it actually is wrong. Uh, we have a minus 4 here, and we need to get to a 5. So we can fix that by adding 9. So here we have 9 over the square root of 16 minus x minus 4 squared dx. If that step is not clear, think of it this way. x plus 5 is really x minus 4 plus 9, because minus 4 plus 9 is 5. And then we basically break it up. We have x minus 4 over all this stuff, and then 9 over all this stuff. The reason we did that is because now we can use u substitution to do this first integral. And the second integral is simply going to be an arc sign. Okay, so let's start with the first one. So I'll call it 1, and this will be 2. So for 1, we're going to let u equal 16 minus the quantity x minus 4 squared. And then du, well, the derivative of 16 is 0. Here you bring the 2 down, so we get negative 2 x minus 4 to the first power times the derivative of the inside. Well, the derivative of x is simply 1. And then we have the dx. Now, we don't have a negative 2 here in the integral, so we'll divide this by negative 2. And so this becomes negative 1 half du equals x minus 4 dx. So now we're ready to rewrite this integral here. This will be negative 1 half. We can pull it out. x minus 4 dx is simply negative 1 half du. So we pull out the negative 1 half. And it's being divided by the square root of u. So we can write that as u to the 1 half. And I'm skipping steps here, but if you bring it up, you can write it like this. So if that was too much, really what we have was 1 over the square root of u, which is 1 over u to the 1 half, which is u to the negative 1 half. It just saves a lot of work uh, to skip right to this. For the second integral, we're going to let w equal x minus 4. And then so dw is equal to dx. And then we'll rewrite it as follows. This is plus the indefinite integral of 9 divided by the square root of 4 squared minus w squared and then dw. Now, if you forgot the formula for arc sine, I'll write it over here. It's dx divided by the square root of a squared minus x squared. And this is equal to the arc sine of x over a plus c. Okay, now we're ready to integrate. So this is equal to negative 1 half. Here we add 1, so we get u to the 1 half, and then we divide by 1 half. Here we use the formula, so it's simply 9 arc sine of w over 4, and then plus our constant. And to finish, well, these cancel. So we end up with negative. We can write u to the 1 half as the square root of u. And u was all of this stuff over here, right? This huge mess. So this is 16 minus x minus 4 quantity squared plus, and then we have the 9 arc sine. And then w was, let's see, w was x minus 4. So here we have x minus 4 over 4, that's a 4, <laughs> plus C. Those are ugly 4s. They're dying. Okay, and that is the final answer. There's my C. It looks like it's sick. Uh, I hope this video made sense. I kind of rushed through it kind of quickly, but 
Um, whenever you see something like this, just break it up and it usually works. I hope that made sense.